Well, good morning, everybody, all you world shakers. This is Uncle Dean coming at you from the Bitterroot Wilderness of Idaho. Um, I got a little project I've been playing around with this morning. Um, right now, the project is this hoverboard motor. And uh, what it is is, uh, get right to the show here. I don't have anything hooked up, the three-phase out output from the motor itself okay that's we're not doing nothing with that all we're gonna do is a little bit of fancy schmancy shit with this with the transformers or i should say the x transformers which are now pickups okay i'm running this one this one this one and this one i'm not running the one over there um I need to get one more in order to make to to get it to work the way I want. But right now, um, those three or those four, excuse me, are dumping into this cord right here. Okay, that's it. That's a that's the cord for a battery charger. I've got a microwave light bulb set on there so that you can see that the voltage is coming in. Now that cord. Try not to shake you up too much. That cord goes right over here to this charge control. Okay? An AC, AC transformer is a charge control for batteries. It's 12 volt. It'll go up 13.6. Okay? Now, what I plan to do is charge or boost two batteries sitting right there hooked up 24 volts. Okay? They're looped together for 24 volts. And they're both 12 volt batteries. Uh, now, right up here is your voltage in the, in the batteries. Right now, and I said, what, 24, 23? Yeah, about 23. There's your voltage in your, the AC voltage on the plug. Okay. Well, I'll quit John, and I'll show you what I've got going here now. Just to show you guys, you can charge a 24-volt, or you can boost a 24-volt system with a 12-volt charger. All right, here we go. I'm going to get over here where you can see them gauges. Now, I'm going to start right up and get it idling. Right there's your light bulb. Okay. Says we're idling at 31 volts. Now watch that battery. to a certain point up there around 100 volts to where it'll start flickering see that starts flickering okay well that's where I don't want to be it seems so what I do is you see that get the power the voltage on the AC we're gonna back that off just till it quits flickering Voltage right around 100 volts. There we go, it starts flickering again. Anyways, I think I need to put a transfer or a uh, capacitor in line, and that'll stop that. But she's putting out real good power. battery charger kicking in and out yeah he ain't kicking in and out now he's really putting his load to it but look at that voltage go up i'm gonna shut her down there we go we'll get her down to it now she's only running about half speed now 
no flicker. It takes a little bit to get that thing to settle down once it once everything kind of warms up, I guess. I don't know. But as you can see, we're charging 24 volt system off of 12 volts. We're boosting it. I don't know what the hell to call it. Maybe you guys know. And that battery charger is working just fine and right around a 92 to uh, yeah, 92 volts. And she's charging fine. Anyways, I just thought I'd show you guys this. One more thing that I'm this totally got me mind boggled and amazed, but it's working just slicker than slick. Okay, well, uh, I'll let you guys know when I get my other transformer. It'll find me sooner or later. Things, some things are just mean, meant to be, you know? Anyway, uh, Uncle Dean coming at you from the Bitterroot Wilderness of Idaho. Piddling. <laughs> whatever you want to call it give me some comments people tell me what you think please alright GWG